Acute diarrhea was clinical presentation of diarrhea that lasts a day or so up to a week. What happens though when the diarrhea lasts two weeks, two and a half, three weeks? We are now in what is referred to as chronic diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea, um, in a clinical presentation, you have to be careful that you don't just automatically assume that it is due to a uh, microbial infection. There are some um, gastrointestinal issues, uh, such as uh, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, that can also present with diarrhea over multiple weeks at a time. People suffering from AIDS will also um, suffer from chronic diarrhea as their immune system is depleted, uh, their production of IgA, secretory IgA will also be depleted, their immune response will be depleted, and they will suddenly have an overgrowth of microbes, change in their normal flora. Opportunistic pathogens will overgrow for a while, and then they themselves will be overgrown by other opportunistic pathogens. So this constant changing, this shifting of diversity or a complete lack of diversity in their gastrointestinal tract will lead to diarrhea. They also have opportunistic pathogens like Mycobacterium avium, Cryptosporidium, and a host of others that will overgrow and lead to chronic diarrhea, which will, or which can ultimately lead to um, extreme dehydration, uh, renal issues, renal failure, coma, death. When it comes to chronic diarrhea, we also have to touch back to our friend E. coli. With acute diarrhea, uh, I discussed the shigatoxin producing Escherichia coli. Here we need to, in chronic diarrhea, we need to talk about the enteroaggregate and oh good lord cannot say this word enteroaggregative e coli eaec is associated with a chronic disease a chronic slow to accumulate symptoms and then the symptoms uh, remain and stay for weeks on end EA, E. coli, will clump together on the surface of the epithelial cells lining the large intestine. Their presence there, as well as some of the um, metabolic products they produce, will stimulate the epithelial cells to pump out fluid. More fluids pumped out, the greater the chance that the E. coli, the EA E. coli, will then pass into the water table or into the water source to be drank and ingested by the next host.